Hey everyone, you're about to watch a video that's going to get thousands of views. Very cool, but your ad needs to be right here. Give me a call. As temperatures begin to drop, many are turning on the heat. But while furnaces and space heaters raise the temperature, they also raise the risk of a fire. Using alternative heat sources inside the home, as I said before, is the second leading cause of home fires in the U.S. But with all of the proper safety tips and the proper usage of these alternative heat sources, the majority of those can be prevented. Probably the most popular is just an electric space heater. Make sure whenever you're using a space heater that you don't plug it into an extension cord. Always plug it straight into the wall. And there are space heaters are available that sense whenever it's on the base on the floor, then it'll work properly. But as soon as it's not on the base, so if you pick it up or if it falls over, then it shuts off. Those I think are extremely safe because if something not comes by a pet or a child and knocks it over, then it's gonna shut off and not leave something that you don't know about, maybe laying against a bed or a couch or something like that. But you should always try to have it in an area that's at least three feet to where there's nothing around it. In addition to space heaters, fireplaces and chimneys need to be cleaned regularly, used with dry wood, and screened in properly to prevent embers from starting a fire. As you start using kerosene heaters and different uh, space heaters, things that bring a bigger hazard uh, as far as r fire risk, check your smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, because that's going to be your first line of defense. If something happens and you don't know about it, that's going to be able to alert you. Uh, a good precaution to take before you even get into alternative safety tips is using your regular furnace. It's always a good idea to have somebody come out, check it, just clean everything up. With any kind of alternative heat source you use, such as a space heater or a kerosene heater, you need to make sure that you go by the manufacturer's recommendations, read all the products or the books that come with the products. Uh, kerosene heaters or liquid fueled heaters, always make sure that you're in a well ventilated area, take it outside to prevent spills inside the home uh, whenever you refill it. Another thing, uh, whenever it starts to snow, you see a lot of people, they'll go outside, they get things wet. They like to hang things over top of a kerosene or propane heaters, and that's a bad idea because you expose that to that heat, and once it dries up, then you've just created a fire hazard. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.